Hello students, welcome to the lecture on decision support system and after this lecture we will be able to learn the following objectives. Explain decision support system, discuss the types of decision support system, understand the group decision support system, describe framework of decision support system, define the need for an expanded framework. Let's start with some basic introduction. Decision Support System DSS are a subset of Computer Based Information System CBIS. The general term Computer Based Information System is a constellation of a variety of information systems such as Office Automation System, Transaction Processing System, Management Information System and Management Support System. A Decision Support System is a computer based information system that supports business or organizational decision making activities. Decision support systems serve the management, operations, and planning levels of an organization and help to make decisions, which may be rapidly changing and not easily specified in advance. Decision support systems include knowledge-based systems. A properly designed decision support system is an interactive software-based system intended to help decision makers compile useful information from a combination of raw data, documents, and personal knowledge or business models to identify and solve problems and make decisions. Let us now study in detail about Decision Support System. A Decision Support System DSS, is a computer-based information system that supports business or organizational decision-making activities. DSS serve the management operation and planning levels of an organization and help to make decisions which may be rapidly changing and not easily specified in advance. DSS include knowledge-based systems. Typical information that a decision support application might gather and present would be assessing all of current information assets including legacy and relational data sources, cubes, data warehouses and data marts. Comparative sales figures between one week and the next, 
projected revenue figures based on new product sales assumption. The consequences of different decision alternatives given past experience in a context that is described. Function specific or general purpose decision support system. Many DSS are designed to support specific business, function or types of businesses and industries. We can call such a decision support system a function specific or industry specific DSS. A functional specific DSS like a budgeting system may be purchased from a vendor or customized in-house using a more general purpose development package. A task specified DSS has an important purpose in solving a routine or recurring decision task. Function or task specific DSS can be further classified and understood in terms of the dominant DSS component that is as model driven, data driven or suggestion DSS. A function or task specific DSS holds and derives knowledge relevant for a decision about some function that an organization performs, example, a marketing function or a production function. Advantages of decision support system. DSS can create positive benefits for both the individual decision makers and the companies who will use the system. Time savings. Research has demonstrated that all categories of decision support system reduce decision cycle time, increase employee productivity and provide more timely information for decision making. Improved interpersonal communication. Improved communication and collaboration between decision makers can be a result of DSS. Model driven DSS allows users to share facts and assumptions. Increased decision maker satisfaction. DSS can help reduce frustration of decision makers by providing the perception that better information is being used. Increase organizational control. Data-driven DSS often makes business transaction data available for performance monitoring. Targeted marketing. DSS can be used to target a specific customer segment and gain an advantage in meeting needs in that particular segment. Answers decision situation. All types of DSS help managers answer questions relevant to a decision situation. The questions may be sophisticated and complex or simple and even somewhat simplistic. It provides people with the tools and capabilities to organize and analyze their decision making information. Disadvantages of DSS DSS should accomplish a purpose that is valued by the organization and supports the individual and groups who use the system. However, building and using DSS can create negative results. Overemphasis on decision making. The focus of building a computerized system is obviously on decision and decision making. However, overemphasis on decisions and decision making is often the result. Transfer of power. Building any form of DSS may seen as transferring decision authority from a human to a software program. DSS should only be used to improve decision. The system cannot capture all the complexities of human decision. Therefore, the human decision maker should still be a part of the process. Unanticipated effects. The implementation of the decision support technology may reduce the skills required to perform a decision task because some DSS tend to overload the decision maker with information, resulting in decreased decision making effectiveness. Obscuring responsibility. Some users may deflect personal responsibility to DSS. User may need to be constantly reminded that the computerized DSS is an intermediary between the people who build the system and the people who use the system. Components of DSS There are three fundamental components of DSS. Database Management System DBMS. A DBMS serves as a data bank for the DSS. It stores large quantities of data that are relevant to the class of problems for which the DSS has been designed and provides logical data structure as opposed to the physical data structures with which the user interact. Mobile Based Management System MBMS. The role of MBMS is analogous to that of a DBMS. Its primary function is providing independence between specific models that are used in a DSS from the application that use them. Dialogue Generation and Management System DGMS. 
The main product of an interaction with a DSS is inside as their users are often managers who are not computer trained. DSS need to be equipped with intuitive and easy to use interfaces. Did you know? It is considered that the concept of DSS became an area of research of its own in the middle of the 1970s before gaining in intensity during the 1980s. Now we will study about types of decision support system. There are a number of decision support system. These can be categorized into five types. Communication driven DSS. Communication driven DSS is a type of DSS that emphasizes communication, collaboration and shared decision making support. Most communication driven DSS are targeted at internal teams including partners. Its purpose are to help conduct a meeting or for user to collaborate. The most common technology used to deploy the DSS is a web or client server. For example, chats and instant messaging software, online collaboration and net meeting system. Communication. Driven DSS software has at least one of the following characteristics. Enables communication between groups of people, facilitates the sharing of information, supports collaboration and coordination between people, supports group decision talks. Data driven DSS. Data driven DSS is a type of DSS that emphasizes access to manipulation of time series of internal company data and sometimes external data. Most data-driven DSS are targeted at managers, staff, and also product or service suppliers. It is used to query a database or data warehouse to seek specific answer for specific purposes. It is deployed via a mainframe system, client or server link, or via the web. For example, computer-based databases that have a query system to check including the incorporation of data to add value to existing databases. Document-driven DSS. Document-driven DSS are more common, targeted at a broad base of user groups. The purpose of such a DSS is to search web pages and find documents on a specific set of keywords or search terms. The usual technology used to set up such DSS is via the web or a client or server system. Knowledge-driven DSS. Knowledge-driven DSS or knowledgeable base are they known are a catch-all category covering a broad range of system covering user within the organization setting it up but may also include others interacting with the organization for example consumers of a business it is essentially used to provide management advice or to choose products or services model driven DSS model driven DSS are complex system that help analyze decision or choose between different options these are used by managers and staff members of a business or people who interact with the organization for a number of purposes depending on how the model is set up, scheduling, decision, analysis, etc. Group Decision Support System There is some controversy about what a group support system is. Perhaps the best and simplest definition is a computer-based system to support a meeting. However, it is an interactive computer-based system that helps a team of decision makers solve problems and make choices. These systems are targeted to supporting groups in analyzing problem situation and in performing group decision making tasks. Group Decision Support System GDSS is also called referred to as a group support system GSS collaborative system or an electronic meeting system since they share similar foundation. However, the GDSS is characterized by being adapted for a group of people who collaborate to support integrated system, thinking for complex decision making.
group wear. Group wear is distinguished from GDSS in that group wear is any software package designed to support more than one person working on a shared task or refers programs that help people work together collectively while located remotely from each other. Programs that enable real-time collaboration are called synchronous group wear. Group wear is multi-user software that allows users to access the same data. Also, group wear usually provides a mechanism that helps user coordinate and keep track of ongoing projects or decision processes. How do GDSS work? In the GDSS special computer software, the facilitator of each meeting will first make the agenda of the meeting, which will be projected onto a big screen that everyone can see. 
Then the participant will type simultaneously in their ideas of the topic of discussion on the individual microcomputers next to them. Then the computer will sort the ideas and then the participants will then vote or comment on which ideas they like or they dislike. In the course of the whole meeting, GDSS stores categorizes and prints out all the ideas, comments and vote tallies so that each of the meeting participants will get a summary of the meeting when it ends. Impact of GDSS on groups GDSS focused the efforts of group members towards a target or problem to be solved by the group. GDSS increased the overall quality of effort put in the decision process by the group. GDSS increases consensus reaching. How these impacts affect decision time is inconsistent, depends on efforts on talks and also on increased participation. Types of group decision support system. Group support system have been implemented in a number of forms. Research shows that these systems were slowly growing and used mainly for structured types of decision problems. Identifies three distinct forms of GSS, shared electronic resources. Those using shared electronic resources as a means of conducting group meeting, either in batch mode or interactively, this form of group decision support requires little investment in software and still yields a very effective result in terms of saving time. Decision room. The decision room refers to the physical arrangement where the use of decision room software or group DSS is normally utilized. For decision makers located in the same geographic area of building with the use of computing devices, special software, networking capabilities, display equipment and a section leader. The objective in using a decision room is to enhance and improve the group's decision making process. Teleconferencing. A third type of GSS is teleconferencing where group members across the continents can see each other on the screen and conduct their meeting as if they were in the same room. Levels of group decision support system. There are three levels of group decision support system. Level 1 GDSS provide technical features aimed at removing common communication barriers such as voting, electronic, message exchange. Level 2 GDSS provide decision modeling and group decision techniques aimed at reducing uncertainty that occur in the group's decision process. Level 3 GDSS machine induced group communication patterns and I can include expert advice in the selecting and arranging of rules to be applied during a meeting. Group Decision Support System Components As with almost all support system, Group Support System GSS has three components Computer Hardware, Computer Software and Network Technology combined in a variety of configuration. Meeting Types Accommodated by Group Support System Different group support systems are appropriate for distinct types of meetings and address wide-ranging meeting problems. The variation is with respect to the level of hardware support and the features incorporated into the software. At the lowest level, the hardware support is a single workstation, usually a PC user by the meeting leader or facilitator. The next level is a voting keypad for each group member combined with a workstation for the meeting leader or facilitator. The highest level of support is a personal workstation for each participant. Software features vary from simple data summarization tools to complex decision modeling tools. Advantages of Group Decision Support System Group Decision Support System gives groups several advantages over many traditional, non-automatic group meetings. More participation More participation because a GDSS allows anonymity Group members may be encouraged to participate because they do not feel as vulnerable to group censure for asking what may be perceived as foolish questions or making unpopular comments. Group synergy. Other group members will be able to use an idea in a manner that the originator did not because participants have different information skills. Automated record keeping. A GDSS can record all comments generated during the meeting and consequently the group participants may not need to take notes. More structure. A GDSS also provides a certain amount of structure to the meeting. With this structure in place, it is more difficult to deviate from the problem solving cycle and make incomplete or premature decision. Other benefits. 
as a result of more participation in group synergy, record keeping and structure, many groups have been able to accomplish more and significantly less time necessary for traditional non-automated meetings. Disadvantages of Group Decision Support System There are some disadvantages to the technology, however, and they include slow communication. Most people speak much faster than they type and thus would usually prefer a verbal environment, other things being equal. Not all talks are agreeable to GDSS. Group meetings which involve one to many communication, for example, a leader lecturing to the group, would not benefit from a GDSS. Let us now discuss about framework of decision support system. A framework is helpful in organizing a complex subject, identifying the relationship between the parts and revealing the areas in which further development will be required. The framework presented here has evolved over the past two years in discussion with many different groups of people. It is organized in two major parts. The first part considers three levels of technology, all of which have been designated as a DSS with considerable confusion. The developmental approach that is evolving for the creation of a DSS. The roles of several key types of people in the building and use of a DSS. The second part of the framework develops a descriptive model to access the performance objectives and the capabilities of DSS as viewed by three of the major stakeholders in the continued development and use. Three technology levels. It is helpful to identify three levels of hardware or software which have been included in the label DSS. They are used by people with different levels of technical capability and vary in the nature and scope of tasks to which they can be applied. Specific DSS. The system which actually accomplishes the work might be called the specific DSS. It is information system application but with corrected ticks that make it significantly different from a typical data processing application. DSS Generator The second technology level might be called a DSS Generator. This is a package of related hardware and software which provides a set of capabilities to quickly and easily build a specific DSS. DSS Tools The third and most fundamental levels of technology applied to the development of a DSS might be called DSS Tools. These are hardware or software elements which facilitate the development of a specific DSS or a DSS generator. Did you know the first international conference on decision support system was held in Atlanta, Georgia in 1981? Let us now understand what the need for an expanded framework is. Decision support system should be defined as a broad category of information system for informing and supporting decision makers. DSS are intended to improve and speed up the processes by which people make and communicate decision. We need to improve how we define decision support system on both a conceptual level and on a concrete technical level. Board managers and DSS designers need to understand categories of decision support so they can better communicate about what needs to be accomplished in forming and supporting decision makers. Expanded Framework the expanded DSS framework is still evolving. The researcher and others have used the framework to classify a large number of software packages and systems. The reports indicate that people who have tried to use it in describing a proposed or existing DSS have found it comprehensive, useful and parsimonious. It seems to help a one categorize the most common decision support system currently in use. The framework focuses on one major dimension with five generic types of DSS and three secondary dimensions. The primary dimension is the dominant technology component or driver of the decision support system. The secondary dimension are the targeted users, the specific purpose of the system and the primary deployment technology. Now in the end, let us summarize what we have learned in this lecture. A decision support system DSS is a computer-based information system that supports business or unorganizational decision-making activities. Group decision support system give groups several advantages over many traditional non-automated group meetings. Decision support system DSS are a subset of computer-based information system CBIS. Research has demonstrated that all categories of decision support system reduce decision cycle time, increase employee productivity and provide more timely information for decision making. 
Data-driven DSS often makes business transaction data available for performance monitoring.